Warren Presents, Oh No, Season 1 Episode 1, When Warren Was Born. The very first time he opened his eyes was when he found himself in a nursery room that was dark, and its bedroom door was left open leading to the hallway, which the hallway's lights were on, making the light break into the room Warren was in. The house he was in was his house. Warren was ordered to drink milk as an infant, but Warren didn't really like milk. Warren likes to eat one of his favorite baby foods. He didn't know what it was or what it was called, but he loves to eat it. He doesn't really cry too much and wasn't really bothered by anything as an infant. Before Warren's guardians got a house, they were living in a small apartment. Warren's guardians asked their parents for finance advice and home improvement tips. After weeks, they finally got their house, which was another family's house, and they luckily got it. Some time later, Warren was almost close to learning to walk. He likes to go room to room and explore his house that he wasn't familiar with yet. Warren then walked inside into his guardian's bedroom only to find that their TV was on. Warren sees some adult cartoon that was left playing right in front of Warren, who was two at the time, and the cartoon showed drugs, sex, violence, profanity, and those kinds of stuff. Warren watched it though, but didn't understand. When Warren turned age three, he started getting bad words from himself. One time, Warren was playing with his toys in front of his guardians in the living room, and he accidentally dropped his toy house on the floor. Being shocked, Warren suddenly blurted out a bad word from his mouth. Warren's guardians didn't say anything after that. Another time, Warren was sleeping one night, and he woke up in the middle of the night from a crazy dream. Warren was about to get out of bed when he heard some groaning. And he even heard the house barriers trembling. He heard that it was coming from the one and only room he heard it from. The room with the king-sized bed. He went in there only to find his wardens doing the indescribable. Warren watches both of them. But the two were too busy to deal with Warren. Seconds later, Warren was taken back to his room and they both didn't care if he stayed up all night or not as long as he didn't come into their bedroom. Warren's cousin, Jenny, hates it when Warren's guardians do the dirty. When Warren turned four, he started walking by himself constantly. One day, he started looking around the rooms to see what everyone was doing. He first walked to the living room to find his dad watching TV while drinking beer. Warren says, oh no. Warren then went to his own room, which his mom was preparing. The room was a mess, and his mom was having trouble trying to get things together and had a hard time cleaning it all up. Warren says, oh no. Warren then went inside his guardian's bedroom, and their TV was left playing a horror, thriller, and adult movie, showing the most disturbing stuff on the screen where Warren sees. Warren then says, oh no. Warren then goes out from his house to the front yard, and sees two people fighting far away from his view. Warren then says, oh no. Warren's grandparents came to visit, and they both went to Warren's guardian's bedroom to listen to some audio that contains full profanity. Warren was listening and then he said, oh no. After Warren's room got a little bit clean, Warren, his guardians, and his grandparents gathered in the living room to chat. They talked about some other stuff, and then they started talking about Warren. Warren's grandma says that Warren looks cute and that she's glad she has a grandchild because nobody in their family tree wanted to have a kid. Warren's grandpa said that he looks fine and okay. Warren's guardian said that they didn't expect to have him after, but they decided to go along with it. Warren's guardians also asked their parents for some useful parenting tips, as they both usually do. They also have a book manual in case they have trouble or forget how to take care of Warren. And the book manual isn't about any other everyday kids. And it's not a book manual from any store. But it's a self-made book manual created by Warren's grandparents for Warren's guardians to use, and it contains tips about Warren and what he's into himself. While Warren's guardians and grandparents were talking, Warren was getting bored and went to his room to see how it looked. His room had a soft carpet, the walls were painted a little yellow, which was Warren's favorite color. There were supplies left in the middle of his room. Warren then accidentally knocked over the yellow paint bucket and left a mess on the ground. Warren's mom went to clean it up later on. 
The next day, Warren was playing with his toys when he heard his guardians arguing. Warren heard them both swearing and shouting. Warren went out of his room to see all the commotion. Warren was staring at them, but Warren's guardians were still too busy arguing. Warren went back to his room and continued playing with his toys and was now getting annoyed by the debating. Warren then says, oh no. Warren decides to listen to music. Warren wasn't into children's music though. But he likes to listen to pop songs. Warren doesn't give a damn if anyone doesn't like music, he loves it no matter what. At one point, Warren started drawing, and he was getting into it, and he then started drawing more and more. Warren isn't one of those kids who just draws random stuff on their paper. Warren likes to draw characters and settings, and likes to put more effort into them and likes to draw more than one thing rather than just drawing one thing like a banana or an animal. Sometime later, Warren walks around the house to see how things are going. He then comes across a horror and adult movie playing in the living room, he then says, oh no. After Warren watches it for a few minutes, he then feels inspired inside himself, and then walks to his room only to draw violent and disturbing stuff he saw on the living room TV. One of his drawings shows a man shooting another person. Another showing weapons and dead people on the bottom lying on a pool of blood, and another showing a striper gang going out as some of them start shooting lots of people. Every disturbing drawing Warren drew was straight up based from the movie he saw playing on the living room TV and his guardian's room. For the rest of the day, Warren watches TV. When it got dark, Warren's guardians made him food, which was hot dogs, and also gave him juice. They both turn the kitchen TV on for him to watch TV while he eats. After Warren was done eating, he went to his bedroom to finally go to bed to sleep. While Warren was sleeping, he had a nightmare of the scary movie he was watching in the living room earlier yesterday. He was outside in a street full of people shooting and lots of gore and bloody people turning into zombies. Warren was trying to find somewhere to escape the gruesome scene, but then he suddenly wakes up from his nightmarish dream. He then says, oh no. When he settled and calmed down, he got out of bed in the middle of the night and went to his guardian's room to tell them what happened. But when he got there, their bedroom door was locked and he could hear groaning inside the room. Warren knocked but none of them opened the door. He tried to look through the door, but it was useless. Warren then grabbed a CD and placed its spine into the door knob's pinhole and unlocked it. When he opened the door, Warren's guardians were in bed doing something. Warren says, oh no. Warren's mom put him back to his room and locked her room to continue her and her husband's business. Warren then decided to go to bed and sleep. The next morning, Warren woke up and went to eat breakfast. Warren wanted to eat waffles with syrup on it, and that's what he got. Warren drank some milk after, then he went to watch some TV in the living room. After half an hour of watching TV, he decided to go outside to his backyard and walk around to see what it looks like. When he walked around, he saw a cat wandering around his yard. Warren stared at it for a while as the cat stared at him. Warren then went up to the cat but then the cat ran away from him and climbed up to a fence. Warren ran towards it but the cat already jumped over the fence to the other neighbor's yard. Warren walked away feeling pissed about it. After full minutes of being outside, Warren went inside the house and went to his room to draw. But when he got there, he saw his mom looking through his drawings, looking a bit confused. She saw his normal drawings, and his disturbing drawings. Warren's mom looked behind her and saw Warren standing there and staring at her. Warren's mom said she was looking for him, and picked him up to read books, instead of watching TV just like what the parenting manual book explained. Warren's mom got him a book for him to read and brought it to him in his bedroom. He was brought more books to read after he was finished. Warren read books to books and seemed to be into it. So far, there were some books that were Warren's favorite. He read all the books he was given until he got bored and went to draw. When Warren looked at his other disturbing drawings he drew the day before, he got too frightened about it and decided to put them back in his drawer. He decided to go look for other books to read. 
He went around the house looking for any, and he stopped by his guardian's bedroom, thinking his mom got books from there. Warren looked at himself, making a mess with stuff falling out from the cabinets. He then started looking inside when he found a magazine. It wasn't really a book though, and it wasn't a children's magazine either. It was actually a Maxim magazine, and Warren looked through it with confusion. Warren put the magazine back in one of the cabinets and decided to keep looking. By then, his mom came in the room and picked him up to take him to a children's playground park. When they both got there, Warren's mom got Warren out to take him to any playground equipment to play on. Warren wanted to play on the swings, so his mom made him swing on the swing and watched him from a nearest bench. Warren didn't like how a few kids were coming to the swings with him, and he also didn't like how more and more children were coming to the playground park. At one point, some kid went up to Warren to ask him if he was almost done with the swings. Warren ignored the kid, and the kid just walked away. Later, the same kid started a fuss about not being able to swing on the swings. The kid's mother told her kid to ask one of the kids to take their spot so that he could swing. The kid went up to Warren and demanded him to get out from the swing. Warren told the kid to move, but the kid wouldn't budge. Warren then swung high and kicked the kid's face, which started the kid's nose to bleed. This makes Warren say, oh no. Warren's mom took Warren from the swings and they both got out from the playground before things got ugly. Warren's mom had a feeling that Warren would be too violent if another kid was playing with him and taking turns. Warren was not into the idea of taking turns, so his mom went into the car with Warren and she drove Warren to another playground that didn't have many children playing on it. The playground was a bit small with no effort, but as long as there's no children around playing on it, Warren is fine with it. There was also a sand area. Warren was playing on the sand as his mother watched him. After five minutes, Warren's mom went up to him to play with him in the sand. Warren seemed okay with playing with his mom instead of playing with any other kids, so they both had fun together playing on the sand, and then had fun playing on the playground. They then went to the swings to have Warren's mom push Warren while he swings. After two and a half hours, Warren's mom decided that it was time to go home, so she got Warren and went to the car to drive back home. When they got home, Warren was already tired, so he was put into bed. Around 8.30 p.m., it was dinner. Warren ate noodles and went to bed to sleep after. In the morning, Warren woke up to hear his guardians and his grandparents talking. They were talking about Warren starting school at age 5. This was a confusing problem for Warren's guardians, as they had trouble deciding what to do with him starting school soon. Their parents gave them some tips and advice on how to take care of him for school. They were both working hard for all of this. Warren's guardians didn't know much and were not really educated, but they got tips though. Before Warren was prepared for school, he was taken to a psychologist to be worked with. Warren was learning his alphabets and numbers fully and already. He then learned about other stuff like words, addition, behavior, and other stuff like that. After that, Warren's guardians came to pick him up and train him with some other stuff. After all of that months passed by and it was finally Warren's fifth birthday. Warren had no friends to come over, so his guardians and grandparents celebrated his birthday. Warren was the only one who ate his own birthday cake and also ate other food. He opened presents and got some clothes and other stuff he wanted. Warren is supposed to come to school in August, and Warren has already started to get nervous about it saying, oh no, but his mom calms him down about going with it. Warren went to bed after that long day, and went to bed to get to sleep. When the month August came around, Warren went shopping with his mom to buy school supplies. They bought pencils, crayons, clothes, notebooks, and other stuff. When they got home, Warren seemed to be prepared for school for tomorrow before going to bed, he then said, oh no, before falling to sleep. The end.